So this video came to me as a request, and uh, absolutely always appreciate uh, requests, and uh, happy to oblige whenever I can. Uh, and I was asked to talk about the use of the Sim Solid Solver within uh, within Inspire. Uh, so a lot of people don't know uh, about Sim Solid. Uh, Sim Solid is a new, relatively new acquisition of uh, of Altair's. Uh, and SimSolid is a geometry-based uh, analytical solver. And uh, SimSolid's main point is that it, it is crazy fast. You can get some incredibly fast uh, analyses. Um, and so what we wanted to do was we wanted to make sure that uh, we could access that solution capability within the, the ease uh, of Inspire. Uh, an interface that people are, are familiar with and, uh, and, and comfortable with using. So from a traditional standpoint, uh, to do a structural analysis, and this is strictly for structural analysis, uh, please don't uh, mistake this for optimization. Uh, optimization is still gonna be handled with, uh, with OptiStruct. This is strictly for structural analysis. But uh, traditionally within Inspire, uh, Inspire used OptiStruct as the an analysis code uh, for structural analysis and for optimization. And when I came over here and I clicked the analyze, uh, and I set everything up, uh, let it just use its default element size, and I click run here, you're going to see the little status window pop up. And we all know that what's happening in the background is it's sending it uh, to SimLab for meshing, not to be mistaken for SimSolid, uh, but SimLab for meshing. And then once it pops over a little bit, we know that it has sent it to the, the HyperMesh libraries for the analysis setup. And then once it gets to about two thirds of the way over, right about there, now we know that it's it's headed off to OptiStruct for the actual analysis. And this should uh, this should run relatively quickly. Uh, it should only take a couple of minutes uh, to run. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll wait this one out here. Uh, but that's the traditional way of, of doing, uh, doing analysis within, uh, within Inspire. But with the acquisition of SimSolid, and SimSolid is still remaining a, a separate standalone uh, product, uh, but the analysis capabilities of SimSolid were, were too awesome to, to ignore within the uh, Inspire interface. And uh, it's just, uh, so actually, this might, might uh, be worth pointing out. So you see, I got this little warning here: run history has exceeded 5,000 uh, megabyte, or uh, yeah, so five uh, five gigabyte. Uh, all of your uh, all of your uh, uh, results, everything is stored in a directory. If I come here to preferences, you see here run history path users Eric documents Altair 2020 Inspire. So in uh, my documents directory under uh, Altair, I'm going to have a number of different uh, releases uh, and then all of the run history is saved there this little warning which is set by default for 5000 megabytes or 5 gigabytes pops up once that has come uh, larger than 5 gigabytes and it's just letting you know it may be time for a little bit of spring cleaning in there so if you hop into that run history path uh, you'll be able to find your uh, your results in uh, analysis and optimization you may want to clean things up a little bit uh, but you see it's complete it's done and I can uh, I can look at my results here uh, and it didn't take long to do that. But uh, what is relatively new here, I uh, came about in 2019 version of Inspire, is I can come here to File, and I can come to Preferences. And if I come to my Run Options, which is actually where it had popped me before, you'll notice Analysis Solver says OptiStruct. So I can come here and I can change my Analysis Solver to uh, SimSolid. And it says changing solver invalidates contacts, just letting you know that if you have contacts in there, I'm going to have to redefine them. Uh, contacts are handled a little bit differently between uh, OptiStruct and SimSolid, so I'll just need to make sure I redefine all my contacts. I don't have any in this model, since this model is just one single part, but it lets you know that you're going to have to go and take a look at your contacts before you run it. Also, while I'm here, might be worth mentioning, uh, CPU cores, you can set the number of cores you want your solution to, to run on. I've got eight uh, cores for regular, eight hyper-threaded, uh, so I grabbed six of those. And so uh, analysis solver I set for SimSolid, I click OK. Now if I come here to analyze, so you see it, uh, it it's altered a little bit. Uh, the solution adaption uh, for stiffness, which is faster, if I click run here, uh, you'll see that it is going to go through here and very, very quickly. It still has, it's still going to take a little bit of time because we have to have that interface between uh, SimSolid and Inspire 
Uh, but in, then you can see that was that was really quick. Uh, whereas the Optistruct solution probably took about two or three minutes. This was about uh, 30 seconds. And actually, had this run in SimSolid, this solution probably would have taken about two or three seconds to, to go. But some of that time is taken up with uh, uh, basically taking my model and, uh, re and building it within SimSolid. So it's going to take a little bit more time. But you can see a crazy, crazy fast so just like with the Optistruct analysis, uh, we can view the results and uh, view von Mises stress, uh, displacement factor safety, they're all there, just like uh, just like they were in the normal analysis. Uh, the one thing that we're missing uh, is of course the little icon here, the little button that allows us to view the mesh like we could in the, uh, the Optistruct results because well, it's geometry based, so there is no mesh. Uh, but uh, it's crazy fast and uh, crazy accurate. So uh, remember, just simply come up here to the preferences, to the run options, uh, change the analysis solver to sim solid, get your results really quickly. Uh, but do remember the one, uh, the one caveat to this is this is strictly for analysis. Uh, this is not for optimization. Optimization is still done in Optistruct. And remember that if you set this up in the Optistruct solver and you set up any contacts, you'll have to redefine them if you switch over to SimSolid. So switching to SimSolid right at the beginning before you do anything uh, will take care of that and then you can bring your geometry in. But give it a try. I think you'll be pretty pleased with the results. And again, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy Inspire.